Howdy folks, how are we doing? Now you remember a few videos ago, I think I was bathing, um, said I've got a new half inch impact gun uh, and a DeWalt. I was going to get Milwaukee but I went for DeWalt in the end. Well here it is and uh, today we're going to give it a bit of a test. Right, so what we've got is our Strymac, uh, well it's smut grab and feeding grab and bow grab, we use it for most things. We're going to change the tines on it because these tines as you can see, <laughs> had a bit of wear. Now they've never been changed. These are the original times. Um, and this is how much they've lost. So there, uh, the new times 1100 mil long. And I think these are about 800 now. So they've lost a considerable amount. Right, so what we're gonna do is use the old Dewalt, see if it's man enough to undo these times. Now like I say, these are all tight you know they'd never come loose it was you know tight from the factory so uh they're a 41 mil nut um so let's see if this thing has got some enough go in it to work it now uh i'd be surprised to be fair if this will undo it but that's what we got it for so let's give it a go Apart from that being bloody loud, not a lot happened. Let's see if we can shock it, do it up a little bit. No, she ain't having it. I'm now fairly much deaf from that. <laughs> I should have brought my ear defenders with me. Um, I thought it'd be a bit too much. Even my big three quarter inch air air gun, I think would struggle with these. Um, so we are definitely gonna have to crack them off. Um, you'll notice I've got an adapter there. Let's put that down a minute. I've got a half inch adapter up to a three quarter and then I'm using one of my three quarter impact sockets. Cause I think it would fair destroy a normal socket. So we'll now go on to the extendable ratchet and oh, we can get rid of the half inch adapter, can't we? Right, I've cracked all of them um, and changed them too. Got the new tines on, as you can see, considerably longer than the old ones. Um, yeah, cracked all them with my three quarter inch extending ratchet, but even that is not man enough for them. So we are switching to something that probably a lot of you have never come across before. Now this is a torque multiplier. Um, and what I do need to do is just grab me my inch drive sockets, because it's inch drive. Like so. And we want probably that one. Oh, no. Uh, could well be that one. No, 38, that's the 41. We want that. Now, right, what a torque multiplier does is, I mean, the clue is in the name. It multiplies torque easily. So instead of, instead of using my bar here, or even my inch bar, I've got an inch drive bar, um, to undo these and then put a bit of scaffold on it or something like that just to get extra torque, extra leverage, this little tool does it for you. Now basically, in this housing here is a gearbox, and that's all you've got, um, that's all you use to wind it. So you don't need a huge amount of pressure. So basically what you put in there, the gearbox then uh, reduces it, so like one turn of that equals like, I don't know, one thirtieth of a turn of the, of the output shaft. So we need to go, uh, we need to turn that way. I just have to think about it. Yeah, so that way. So one thing you do need with, with this is um, something to, to brace it against. So I'm gonna struggle with this one because I've got nothing um, to brace that leg against. 
Um, I mean, like normally you'll use this on wheel nuts, like lorry wheel nuts, that sort of thing. And then you'll use that stay bar on the previous, or, you know, on the next nut, or the previous nut, the previous stud. So it's got something to work against. So I'll be able to do that one on this one, but that one's going to be a struggle. But this will just, like I say, going to be nice and easy just to wind that. And there you go, she's cracked. And I tend to just wind it a bit more, but it's such an easy way of, of doing it without swinging on bar. But I'm just going to go back to this again, just to prove on that one. I've already swung on this. Swung and failed. No, not that one. That one. See how I'm making that? Well, you can see I'm making me, me ratchet flex. And like I say, yeah, you can go and um, put a scaffold bar on it or something like that, but I've swung on scaffold bars like that and it's not much fun. It really ain't a lot of fun, so we need to put that there. Well, that's, oh, no, I'm stuck, you know, because that's the, that's the one I need to undo. <laughs> that one is under. I thought that one was uh, tight as well, but it's not, so I've got to do that one. Um... So you can see my problem now. The only thing I'm thinking of... Right, it's a bit of an adaption, but what I might be able to do is use that bit of scaffold there just to wind against. That should hopefully bite in there and then... You're gonna let me do it. There you go. She's gone. See, that was so much easier than swinging on it with a long old bar. Much easier. Oh, that can go all go away. That's the inch straw that can go back in there. Like so. The only trouble with these Bergman plastic boxes, the um the hinges go on them. Hence resorted to cable tied hold it shut. That back in there, but no, they are very useful, very, very useful tool. Um and like I say, a lot safer than mucking around with eight-foot scaffold bars. Right, so now Loosen these off. I'm going to take them all the way off because I want to put some a uh, bit of WD down them because they need sledging off. Because the tines are as tight in there as the nuts are tight on the tine, if you know, if you know what I mean. Where's me um, WD? I'm just going to squirt a bit. Of WD down the old, down the old, lubricate the old hole up a bit, so the old shaft slips out easy. Our oh, lubrication is always very important. I oh, just need to wind these back down a bit. Just so we're about level or all the tine shaft is about is just a bit proud. As like I say, we've got to get the old big swinger on to knock these out.
in the old time to have some he'll have some teeth again a lot of some of it when you're dealing with some of the old silage bales ones that are at the bottom of the pile that have been a bit squashed um you can sometimes um sometimes the end of the bale the, the far half of the bale will will sort of shear off and fall off the tines because the tines aren't long enough right the big stick Loose, loose, not loose, not loose. That one's gone. That's gone. Whole limb morally. Right, we can buzzle them off now. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Should have thought of that. <laughs> oh, tell that. That was very close to doing my knee. I did this on my knee this morning. Yeah, nice big old hole. I banged it on the, on the bucket, on the cutting edge of the bucket. That did make me swear, that did. That was very not nearly um, straight onto the straight onto that wound, but me missed it just thankfully. I remember to stand aside. Oh, and get all these out, and then um, I have to hook the grab back on so I can get the uh, get the height for the uh, to slide the other tines in. But it was a lot easier to take that take the loader off to um get access to you've got to swing on them and you've got to you know use the old hammer on them and all that but, uh, well actually uh, a few specs about this before we sort of um get to the end of the vid um small thing led light there which is always useful um three speeds so it's in third at the minute first is just like that and then you've got second and then oh, third gear it does take a bit of holding and of course you've got different um different torque levels for each gear so it gives you a bit of versatility Come on, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, someone commented on uh, one of the last vids that the DeWalt stuff's nowhere near as good as the Milwaukee. Um, I mean, I've always got on well with DeWalt stuff. I've had um, DeWalt and Makita stuff um, in the past. Uh, also, I've got to current DeWalt stuff at the minute anyway, so it made sense just to get a um, DeWalt half inch because I've got the batteries um, and we all know how expensive the batteries are um, even though I've only got um, I've got two one and a half amp hour ones and I've got a five amp hour you still get the same level of grunt out of one and a half it just don't last as long but uh, for what I use them for I don't need it's rare that I need um, well <laughs> I never do run out of battery power. I've got three, you know, I've also got three batteries, so I've, I've never run out of battery power yet. Um, 
so yeah there's there's no point getting another battery <laughs> and yeah they are they are built well i mean they do get i get do work machines um i mean they're not get used every day but they do get worked when they are used and the old dewalt stuff does seem to hold up to it so uh, like i say he wasn't able to undo these uh, times initially until they were cracked but then again um well some of them i had to use the torque multiplier on so they were effing tight you know they were really really tight but uh we'll get these times fitted and see what it looks like <laughs> That's uh, got a bit more juice in it now, hasn't it? Yeah. That's putting some power through there, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Having a fresh battery on makes all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's barely gone anywhere. Yeah, that's 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 gone tight, isn't it? Yeah, it's not on the box, man, are they? No. Oh, the old gunners nipped them up. I mean, bloody tight, but obviously I'm still getting a bit of a bit of go on the old ratchet. Probably a turn and a half, I think, all told. So not a great deal, but... <sighs> Some have gone a bit further than others. As you see, that one's about flush with the nut and that one's proud. So I'll give it a run it for a couple of days because we've got some bows to cart at some point as well and then I'll go through and hang on when I go hang on them again with this but uh, yeah so far as the gun I mean the gun's got tons of go in it but it still don't compare to a bit of old-fashioned muscle power does it um but I, <laughs> i've heard a lot of stories that um of the milwaukee stuff like the high talk stuff that people haven't found a bolt that uh, it won't uh, won't undo it it will sh it will shear them off if um if they're that tight but that takes some believing because i mean i've used um inch drive impact guns you know the long anvil type um double hammers or triple hammers i forget what they were we had a we did have a real good inch drive can't think what the max torque on it was but it was a powerful 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 gun air one like i say and that wouldn't you know that would never um, snap bolts around like that and you were still using my torque multiplier set to undo nuts you know, to do that initial crack so 
when people say oh that you know has not found a nut that it won't undo they're probably talking about you know m10s or <laughs> m12s or something like that not i don't know what these are i mean they're a 41 mil nut but like that's probably a uh i don't know m24 or something like that they're big 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 bolts well tines on in this case aren't they but you know what i mean like a lorry stud i very much doubt that a three-quarter impact milwaukee version of one of them is gonna snap snap a a 33 mil wheel stud on a lorry can't see it can't see it like so we we used to use the old torque multiplier that thing is a good bit of kit all right well i'm sweating balls and uh, i've got four more nuts to do up and that's me done but you don't need to see me doing them um yeah catch your breath and i'll see you lot on the next one ta-ta